Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. I've told you before, more than anything, I wish to become the kind of person that Mana's identity embodies. You can fake a personality for, for some time, but you can't, but unless you actually are this person. It's only a matter of time till it breaks. Sorry, and goodbye. Akazu turns and starts running. I reach out my hand towards her in a futile attempt to try and bring her back. What have I been doing? Did I really think I could have become someone of all just because I knew about Mana's identity? Why am I like this? Oh, you're not the only one who thinks of that. You are basically most of the people. Yes. Hmm. What do I gain? But not think. Huh. I, sh I shouldn't stop. It Dang. I shouldn't change the way that I that I treat the, that person. Now that I know that they are actually that person. But at the same time, nah. this is uh, this is also all my own thinking. If you have other things, that's that's okay. That's good because you're probably even better in uh, in understanding people than I am. I let myself become obsessed and then think at all about what Makoto was going through. You didn't think about her. You know, I'm still having thoughts about my own personal gain. This is not good. Makoto just told me about how she's suffering, and the first thoughts that can come to me are still ones about how my value as a human can be realized. It's so pathetic. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what Makoto was going through. If only I had paid attention to all our conversations. And then, how can I, I even help her? There's nothing I can do on my own. I hate how worthless I am. Makoto has helped me out in the past for vetoing and I can do nothing for her in return. All I did was make everything worse. I knew what was going to happen. I still pressed the doorbell. I even asked her if she was Mana. It would have been better if I had known. Mm -hmm. All I've done is caused her grief because of my selfishness. I fell into that exact trap that I shouldn't have. My view of Makoto completely changed, and I started thinking about her differently. This is a thing again many people go through, and the best way to go is to not do this, in my own opinion. Because again, Maybe in the future I meet somebody like, I don't know, a famous VTuber. Maybe I will, I will, I will. Maybe this is just literally just, just wish thinking. I can have a, a nice cover with Kiara. Why? I don't know. Just because. Would I treat her like a goddess? Hmm. I mean, hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> no. Okay, I actually I shouldn't. <laughs> in in a stream, maybe, but for real, probably not because because Yara could be Makoto. So, <laughs> again, I don't know what to say actually because I have my own problems with with socializing. And I mean not socializing in the in the Hello Charlotte way. Oh no, we don't want that socializing. Unless you're that kind of person. <clears throat> I pushed my own expectations onto her. Pushed my own identity of man onto her. Not realizing that it was just causing her pain. I threw my phone across my room in anger. Even now, even now I'm still having these disgusting thoughts. That I still have a chance with Makoto. 
that I can validate my own worth. I'm still prioritizing my selfish wishes instead of thinking about what's best for Makoto. Maybe she's right. Someone like me, who's only thinking of using her to make myself feel better, doesn't deserve to be with her. The overwhelming heartache and the half isn't weakening in the slightest. That clenching my chest in the futile attempt to ease the pain. These feelings have only served to fuel the guilt that's built up. Why am I still feeling like this? This isn't right. This isn't because I actually love her. This is only because I figured out she was mana. Because I suddenly thought I had a chance to become validated. I didn't know mana. I only, be I only became obsessed with the sight of her self that is shown on screen. Without ever having come to an understanding of who she was as a person. Wow. Probably people on Twitter should... Probably a majority on Twitter should actually play this game. <clears throat> How could I even think that it would turn into a relationship? It's just me pressing my feelings and insecurities onto someone without ever thinking about the give and take of both people. Why am I even thinking that I ever had a chance in the first place? Makoto said it herself. She only interacted with me so she could see if she could be loved for herself. It didn't have to be me in particular. It could have been any of the other hundreds of thousands of mana friends out there. It's just like before. Nobody's ever going to voluntarily interact with someone like me just for me. They shouldn't. Not when I'm someone who just thinks about himself. Even still, my thoughts keep trailing back to Makoto. It keeps telling me to go back to her so I can fulfill my conceited fantasies. Why? Why am I like this? Get out of my head. Hmm. Get out of my head! <laughs> but the poem is never finished. It just keeps on. Okay, actually, I forgot how, they, how it works. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> but a poem is never finished. It just stops moving. I stand my forehead against the floor of my room. The pain of the impact rings against my head, but I can't focus on it in my current state. <sighs> I wish I could just disappear. My thoughts are interrupted as the door swings open and the tall female figure steps in. Hmm, I can only explain. <laughs> can only speculate. Technically. I haven't seen the screenshots, but I didn't read the text though. I only saw the screenshots and La Petalia. Hey, Yoko. Yoma, you're in here, aren't you? Why aren't you picking up your phone? I've been trying to cut. She stops as soon as she sees me on the floor. It was no. Mm, no. Damn, you have a good looking zest at all, Shoma. <clears throat> I mean. <clears throat> anyway. You couldn't? Eh? My sister rushes over and crouches down in front of me. What happened? You look terrible. Oh, yeah, a lot happened. It's nothing. Sorry for worrying you. I was a bit occupied with something. I attempt to stand up, but Yukune grabs him by my shoulders and stops me. Yo, mom, there's no way that this is just nothing. I'm not going to just ignore the state you are in. Someone like me isn't worth your concern. I'm just a terrible person with nothing to offer. But everything? My family. Of course I'm going to be concerned about you. I'm not expecting you to have to offer me anything in return either. But I'm the one who determines who's worth my concern. I'm determining that you're a wonderful person that's offered me so many joys in life and are worth my concern. 
So please, don't say that. But you're not a burden to me, Shoma. And even if you were, then that would be okay. I want you to burden me if it helps you. So please, rely on me. Bother me, burden me, without feeling like you have to offer anything in return. Hmm, wait a moment, that feels familiar like the sentence. Your wonderful existence is enough for me. How can he pulls me into an embrace? I don't know what you've been going through, and I won't force you to tell me. Hmm, <clears throat> this feels very familiar, this sentence. Hmm, <laughs> like uh, somebody actually said it to somebody who we all, who didn't, who he did had a different kind of thought there. Hmm. Again, this is only speculation. But oh, please, let me just do this. Let me be here for you. The warmth of my sister's embrace overwhelms me with emotions. Okay, brain, stop it. There are siblings. <laughs> just stop it, what's your figure right now? I'm unable to find the, find the energy. To keep my composure, as I rest my head on your girl knee's shoulder. Good. I could see the tears starting to peel on my vision. Take as much time as you need. I won't go away. Is this really okay? I know if this is right or what I should be thinking, but I don't care. I just want to stay here, right in this moment. Be too well. Good evening. Are you feeling a bit better now? Okay, actually, why do we have actually this? Is, is, uh, is, this, is this kind of an indication that this is a new chapter? Or something? Hmm. Yeah, thanks. Can I share what happened? Look at his mask and starts rubbing my head. Of course, you dummy. But you haven't eaten yet, have you? Let's head to the cafe down the street. We can talk while you're eating. Just notice my acute hunger amidst the ocean of other feelings. I guess I haven't even I haven't eaten anything today. Okay. Okay. Special water on your face. First, then we can go. After a trip to the washroom, I head to a local cafe with Yokone. I will not say it right now. So that's what happened, huh? I suddenly eat my food as Yokone sits in thought over my experiences with Makoto. What do you think? Are you okay with the way things are? Wait, you tell, told her that she's mana or did you just... Uh, just kinda said it in a way that said that... Well, and she's... Mm, okay, actually... Mm, never mind, I don't know what, what he said. I don't know, maybe it's for the best. Best for who? Would either of you truly be happy with this result? Mm, according to my experiences, no. What about... What about what you want? Do you know? Do you want to keep her in your life? Of course I do, but I can't do anything for her. I'll just end up burdening her. I would just end up making things even more painful for her. You can hear that sort of sigh, a smiling at me. You know, Shoma, you hurt others just by existing, whether we like it or not. I've hurt plenty of people in the past. It hurts me even more so when it's someone that I deeply care about. People have hurt me as well, or had they meant it to, meant, meant to or not. We've hurt each other plenty of times growing up, haven't we? Yeah, I remember the physical beatings I received from you whenever I would take your food. Brain is we is he has no idea what to feel right now. Hey, that was when we were kids. And you know I wasn't talking about physical harm. Yep. But we've had our fair share of fights. Once, where we initially thought we wouldn't ever talk to each other again. And you know what? Despite all of the harm we've caused each other, I've never once regretted having you in my life. The memories I've made, the experiences I've had, all of the feelings we've shared, this relationship, 
we've built. All of that makes me think it's all worth it. Hmm? Do you think the experiences you've had with Makoto the past few days are all for nothing? Of course not. And I think it's okay for you to for you two to keep hurting each other. That just means you two will just have to keep building happy memories and experiences to make it all worth it. But that's just the idealistic. We can't just exact, expect happy moments to just come. And you two will just have to grab a hold of those moments yourselves. Live, have fun, get hurt, be confused, get lost, cry, laugh, cherish all those moments. But I'm honestly nothing compared to Makoto. I can't do anything for her. And she said it to herself. She only associates that me with me for her own girls. She would never want someone like me. Trust me, I'm sure you've offered more to her than you can realize. And if you hadn't, do you really feel the need to try and offer something to her? Isn't it enough for you to, to just want to be with each other? But sometimes all someone really needs is to be in the company of someone they cherish. Why are there no two, f two of you here? Why are there no two of you here? Even if they know, they'll be hurt or burdened. But how do you know what Makoto wants to continue having me in her life? She herself was trying to push me away. But isn't that it? Maybe it matters to her so much because she's trying not to hurt someone that, that she cares about. It hurts the most when you hurt someone that you care about deeply. It's our instincts, instinct to try and push them away so that we don't hurt them anymore. What she says isn't always going to be what she actually feels. It's just like you and me. People tend to not be honest with themselves. I'm not going to pretend like I can understand her, so I can't confirm that. I'll to understand her for as long as I've known her. So five days. What I did it wrong, man. Oh, Mary, everything's good. Everything's good. <sighs> no, we went to the right one. Isn't it fine? Tell me, do you think you completely understand me? Well, I think I understand you fairly well, but there are certain things I can't understand, despite my attempts to. Yeah, and that makes me happy. I don't think we'll ever fully understand each other, no matter how hard we try. But it makes me happy just knowing that you attempted it. And it makes me happy that you understand the parts that you do understand. Maybe all the girl, all that girl needs isn't someone that can fulfill, fully understand her. Maybe just someone who tries to. I would like to say about this post right now, but I don't. <laughs> Just out of security reasons. Huh? Yukuni, you're pretty romantic, aren't you? Hey, I've just had my fair share of ups and downs in relationships. And don't be calling me romantic when you're the one here going out and finding love this complicated in the span of a few days. Again, five. <laughs> This is faster than anything I have ever experienced. No comment to that. Reader from 
we were not in this chat nor by my own editing beam. Okay. I can't help but laugh despite what's happened today. It's been a while since I've been able to just sit and chat with you, Connie. You really took my advice to go out and meet people, didn't you? I think you'll get yourself in such a situation just a few days after we talk. I mean... I mean, it was... Hmm... The best friendships or relationships are actually not forced by someone. It's actually the beginning of the whole of them. Mostly just fate. Hmm. That means I can't place all the blame on you, right? Since you're the one who taught me to go out and beat people. Show me, you know. You just went to... You just were hungry, you just went to a convenience store, saw that they, they have the latest VTuber news magazine, which still, why? How? And then suddenly, it's just, it just wrote. I mean, you could just, just go no way after you got the magazine by Makoto. It is a thing. You could have just walked away. Move on with your life without ever, well, interacting with her. But then, this would be an ending. It would have been not very nice. Don't get cheeky with me. This is magnitudes larger than just going out and meeting people. But I'm glad you managed to find someone that you care so much about. But I'd like to meet Makoto sometime. Maybe after all these, this dies down. Hm. She said the same thing. That she'd like to meet you. I don't know how this will all turn out. And even if we do manage to patch things up between us somewhat, she still has all the problems that she needs to deal with. Yeah. Now see, I don't have any any answer and uh, uh, answer for you. Answer. Especially the VTuber related hardships. I can't say I have any experience with any of that. But that's okay, isn't it? What is? Not knowing the answer. You can't always have the right answer to everything. And there might not always be a right answer. But I think that's alright. There's nothing wrong with being a little lost. If you look all around you, we are all lost in our own ways. Why do I have the feeling that this whole whole thing, this whole day in, ends up with, with Shoma running to Makoto's house and just, well... Mm. You mean you? You look like you got everything together. Of course, I might look like I got everything together, but I'm also lost in my own way. Is there anything I can help with? Yugane forms a big smile and starts rubbing my head again. <laughs> it's just typical adult stuff. Maybe I can tell you more about it later. You need to focus on yourself and Makoto first though. Alright. I want to try and do something for Makoto, but I don't really know what I can provide. I haven't met her, but from what I, from what you've told me, I think it's enough for you to be there for her. Seems like she's trying to take on the entire world by herself. Even if you don't have an answer for her, just having someone who can try and understand her might be enough. Are you sure about that? Even someone like me? Especially someone like you. One day you realize your birth, Yuma, and I'm sure Makoto will have a part in that. Realize my birth, huh? Fancy, Okune. For the day, for the day, and for everything. <laughs> Any time. Okune reaches for my head again, but I'm nimbly move out of the way to dodge her hand. Hey, what gives? I don't need my hair any messier. Thank you very much. Come on, you used to always love that when you were a kid. That is completely false. You would put me in a headlock just so you could rub my head because I would try and run away. We both start laughing. I think I should head back. I've got a lot of thinking to do. And I'm worried about Makoto. Hm. Go get him, champ. I'll be around for a few more days for work. 
If the opportunity presents itself, make sure to introduce me to her. Let me know how everything goes. And please, don't hesitate to rely on me again. Thanks. And make sure to give her a hug. I'm sure she don't need it. She needs it. Well, definitely. I'll try to remember that. I'll try to remember. After paying for the food, Yokone gave me a long embrace after before leaving for the hotel that she was staying at. I take a deep breath and then head back to my own apartment. Makoto, connect. <laughs>